Bonjour, mon ami, les agents. And today I want to talk about. It's kind of old news right now, but I still want to discuss this topic. Koji Igarashi has left Konami, and most people's thoughts is if they know who he is, they know him as Iga. Um, is that is is this good news or is this bad news? Personally, this is actually good news considering the fact that Konami has been what has been lately. I mean, it's not like Konami really makes games anymore. They they make a game every now and then, but by comparison, I mean you know they haven't really had that many big games. And Koki Ijirashi, one of their leading developers and producers, yeah, for him to leave. That's pretty fucking big. I mean, he created Symphony of the Night. And Symphony of the Night was not only his big first big project, but it was his first big Castlevania game. Sure, he develops, he helped produce some ones that were complete shit, like Harmony of Despair and <sighs> Judgment. But, you know, hey, we got other games before then, and it changed the face of Castlevania forever. Every other Castlevania game after Symphony of the Night has pretty much been following the footsteps of it and that was over 10 years ago that that game was released uh, nothing but good times about that game but you know for him to leave considering the fact that Lords of Shadow is not being he's not involved with it really much at all um, he's pretty much just sitting there just like KG and Afuna was with Capcom with Mega Man uh, for this guy to leave and for him to make his own studio and continuing to the one to develop games, I have much respect. I'm actually pretty interested to see what he's going to do next. And really and truthfully, Konami just, I guess to him, it doesn't feel like like home anymore. And really and truthfully, whatever happened to all the Konami's old games? I mean, okay, they still make Metal Gear Solid games, and every time a purple moon arrives with blood bleeding from it, they may kind of sort of make a Contra game. But... I mean, we had other RPs than that, people. We had IPs, rather, excuse me. We had all other IPs. Uh, what happened to Vandal Hearts? What happened to Zone of the Enders? And when TMNT's license was lost? Yeah, I already knew Ubisoft was not going to do much with it. At all. And nothing good. But, you know, it's just like... This sends a message to people... I don't know if Kei Jinifun was an inspiration for him to decide to do this, but that you don't have to be part of these big name developers to want to just do what you want to do. And that's make video games. And, you know, that's kind of the case with music nowadays. Being signed to a label used to be thought of as a big thing. But a handful of years ago, many people discovered that you make more money as a writer or producer. And now everyone is a writer and producer, or at least trying to be. And really and truthfully, it seems like it's more lucrative to be an independent writer and producer than it is to be part of a label, because when you're part of a label, you you sign to this contract with all these debts. But, you know, that's beside the point. It's the same as if you were with one of these developing agencies. And, you know, as much as I love video games, a lot of people suggested, well, you know, you should go, you should go to school to be one. Uh, how about no? For what? To, to be signed on EA? I, I'd rather not. I'll pass. I really will. Especially the way the game industry is now. It's so corporate. You don't really get much freedom of uh, an individual control over a project. If it, especially if it's a big project. Unless you're one of these well-renowned, respected names. You know, but uh, I'm very interested to see what he's going to do next. This is good news, people. We should be celebrating. Because it's not like we've heard, we've had much to smile about with Castlevania. I mean, it's Lords of Shadow. Okay, yeah, it's not terrible, but it's not what we wanted. It's not what we started out as. And considering that it's a reboot, everything that's been established up to this point has been, been thrown away. Yeah, the storyline's been kind of all over the place, chronologically speaking. They're trying to weed things out a little bit, but I mean... Come on, you, you, you'd you be crazy to say that you don't really miss the old Castlevania games, because I do. I'd like to see, other than Metroidvania-style Castlevania game, I'd like to see a traditional Castlevania game. Because, I mean, I played Castlevania, Castlevania Chronicles, replayed Castlevania Chronicles recently. Um, and then after playing Castlevania 4, 
those games are still good. I mean, they may not necessarily need to be as long. Well, actually, Castlevania 4, that was one of its strong points, that it was pretty long. A lot of people complain, like, oh, well, you know, it's backtracking by comparison of 3, because 3 had multiple playable characters and, all the, and alternate pathways, but, I mean, 4 was three times longer than any other Castlevania game, and then the way it combines all those levels together to this big... I think it had, like, 12 levels, and they weren't the hardest levels, but they were pretty memorable, great music, great control, and pretty much all around just good shit. I'm interested to see what he's going to do next because, I mean, Shinji Mikami left Capcom. He's making the evil lies within. He's like the godfather of Resident Evil. One of the main creators of Resident Evil, actually. Platinum Games, the guys that made Don Devil May Cry. They made Bayonetta and so on and so forth. Keiji Infuna is making Mighty Number no. 9. And now Igarashi has left. Who else is going to leave? I hope that uh, whoever's, I mean, Nobu Uematsu, he, one of the best composers, of Final, one of the most well-known composers of Final Fantasy, he left Square a long time ago and has his own private developing agency with, with music, and that dude's arrangements are fucking nice. Um, it's the fact that these guys have a passion that to want to continue doing what they love is what I respect. What's next? Hopefully nothing more but good news. Ajando Iwa, merci mon amis. To much of my delight.